Happy Halloween, everybody. Although apparently some cities are postponing Halloween because the weather's so bad. Because it's Halloween, let me show you something spooky. Let's see if, what I get if I multiply two two digit numbers. Let's say 93 times 89, for example. Here's a really neat way of getting the answer quickly. Subtract 93 from 100, you get 7. Subtract 89 from 100, you get 11. Then if you first of all multiply those, you'll get the last two digits in the answer. 7, 7. On the other hand, let's add them together. You get 18. Subtract 18 from 100, and you get 82. There's the answer. Believe it or not. Let me do one more in case you think this is an exception to the rule. Let's say we multiply 86 times 94. Once again, subtract both of these from 100, you get 14 and 6. So first you multiply them and you get 84, the last two digits in the number, and then add them, you get 20, subtract 20 from 100 and you get 80, 84. Isn't that amazing? Spooky. Now we know that's going to be a 7 because 3 times 9 gives you 27. And this is roughly 90 times 90, so it's about 8,100, so the 8 makes sense. But how in the world do we get the 2 and the 7 so easily? Similarly, 6 times 4 is 24, that gives me the 4. But how do I know these other digits in the middle are right? Well, this technique works, believe it or not. Now let's look at the general formula. I've got it written down here. Oh, by the way, as you may have noticed, I'm still using my cardboard blackboard because I just realized that I can't erase the cardboard. That's because I'm dumb. All right, now if you look at the formula, here's what I did. I took the first number, I'll call it x, subtracted it from 100, took the second number, subtracted it from 100, that was, that was y, and then I multiplied. That gave me the last two digits, such as 77. And then I took those same two differences from 100, and I added them and subtracted it from 100. That gave me the first two digits, but to put them in the right spot, I had to, I have to multiply by 100. Now, if I was to simplify this, which I will in a minute, what should I get as my final answer? You got it. I should get x, y. So take a moment if you want to do that, and I'll be back.